So some guys with the pushy arm action pattern kind of rotate into this elbow leading throw, like they're throwing darts, right? So I'm going to talk from the mechanical standpoint, not the mental standpoint, because I have kind of two different theories on that. So from the mechanical standpoint, going back to the importance of hand raise arm swing, when we are when we are early with the dynamic of hand raise, right? This is what happens. The trunk begins to rotate prematurely. Okay, the trunk cannot delay rotation through time and space while you're driving if the hand is up here. It can delay rotation if the hand is beginning its ascend to hand raise, arm swing, okay? So guys that are early with the hand now begin to go early with the trunk, right? So say at front foot strike, the hand is here and the trunk is here. So now the trunk beginning to prematurely rotate can't effectively pull the arm through, right? So since you're already rotated before the anchor comes down, which is that lead leg, right? That lead foot. Now, the only thing you really can do is the opposite of aggression, <laughs> push that arm through, right? Now, I'd encourage you if you haven't already to watch a lot of my stuff on the dynamic of pushy arm action versus pulling arm action, right? And utilizing the big muscles, because that is one major thing that I see and it all stems from the timing, the timing of this and the relation to our anchor point, which is that front foot coming down to touchdown. Okay, so right off the bat, you see that the importance of the timing and why it being early is bad for that pushy arm action, right? 